Hello and welcome to the Worldwide Markets Daily Market Wrap-Up. It is August 22nd, 2013. Uh, we're going to start off with the Euro dollar. Uh, over the last maybe month to six weeks, we've been seeing some uh, Euro strength slash dollar weakness. Uh, Euro is definitely climbing higher uh, every day. Uh, we're sitting right now at 133.55. Uh, with recent highs at 134.50. Uh, I don't see a whole lot to uh, contradict uh, this recent trend. Uh, I do st still think we're going to see some euro strength here. Uh, some of the technical levels that you should be watching out for is the 32.85 mark. Uh, you see here we have the 23.6% retracement plus a lot of area of support and or resistance um, you know in this area and then for whatever reason it breaks through that uh, the next level that you can take a look at is 3180 uh, but for now you know we're just you know we're expecting this to continue to uh, you know to increase and you know if it does break above the 3450 level um, you know don't have a whole lot recently, uh, you know, to measure that against. You know, this is our larger charts. Uh, so if you wanted to take a look at the next, I guess, bit of resistance that you would have above 3450 is your 35 level, uh, and then above that, you know, you have you know your 3700. So you know, definitely these are. Levels you want to keep an eye on as uh, you know as this continues to trade. Pound dollar uh, definitely a little bit more choppy. Uh, that's for sure. Uh, we're looking at the pound dollar daily chart. Uh, the 5750 level uh, has been the uh, target of resistance here, and we approached that uh, this week. We were unable to get above that level. Uh, you know, so we're going to keep an eye on that. And right now, the channel uh, between 55.85 and 57.50 is is where we're looking for this to break out of. Um, if we do break to the short side, you have your 53.95, 54 level as your initial short-term target. Uh, if we break out to the long side, above 57.50. Uh, you know, you definitely have some some more areas uh, at the 58.50 levels. Okay, so these are the levels that we're looking at for the pound uh, dollar, and you know we're pretty much you know in this you know. Uh, Fibonacci pattern that we see here uh, where it's bouncing between the levels so uh, that's what we're definitely going to keep an eye on I'll move on to gold uh, gold's been interesting you know obviously been bearish for quite a while uh, it's kind of broken out of that trend um, you know we're looking at a 1415 target if it keeps going to the upside um, you know where we've seen other resistance and you know also the 38.2 percent retracement from this most recent uh, move uh, to the downside from 18 and change down to the 1100s um, you know, right now you know that my initial levels were you know to be looking to, to get into the 12s we surpassed that and I actually dipped into the 11s and you know, to, to call a trend or to call, you know, where this is going, not 100% sure. So we're just going to do our best, follow our technical levels and keep an eye on, uh, you know, what's going on in the news and, and you know, certain things that are going to trigger gold strength or, or gold weakness. Uh, we're going to take a quick look at the dollar yen here. Uh, we have a pretty decent triangle that's that's been set up uh, and we're gonna look to uh, and take a look at that so 
you know, we have a symmetrical triangle. Uh, pretty much what that means is we're getting higher highs and lower lows. And what that usually also indicates is that there's going to be a breakout. You know, it's pretty much like compressing a spring and then letting it go. So, you know, right now that's, that's what we're seeing. Um, and, you know, we'll see if it kind of knocks around in between these two trend lines and then, you know, which way we're going to break out. Uh, we do have the end of the week coming up. Uh, so just be careful with that. I'm not a big advocate of trading too much on Fridays. You know, once we hit 11 or 12 o'clock uh, Eastern time, uh, New York time, I you know definitely like to be out of the market. So, you know, see what you can grab, you know, here in the next uh, 12 to 18 hours. And then, you know, you got to pack it in for the week and we'll see, you know, where we are next week. That is all that we have for today. Thank you very much for tuning in. Good luck with your trading, and we will see you tomorrow.